Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon and good evening. This is Ankush here from Alif Consulting. Welcome in our Azure Disk Pool video. In this video, we will be going to understand what is Azure Disk Pool and how we can use that into Azure environment. Well, here is the agenda of our uh, video. So we're going to have a basic understanding of uh, what is Azure Disk Pool is then how we can use with it with this uh, Azure disk pool uh, with the VMware solution how it's work what are the restrictions we have what are the regional availabilities what are the billing is going to be and how the billing is going to be and then at the end I would be going to show you how uh, you can basically create a Azure disk pool and then you can add uh, the disk into the Azure disk pool right so this is the agenda of our video right so let's quickly jump into the introduction so azure disk pool uh, which is currently is in a preview is the azure resource that allow the application or workload to access the group of the managed disks from a single endpoint a disk pool can be exposed to a internet smart uh, computer system interface which is iSCSI target to enable the data access to the disk inside the this pool over the iSCSI each disk pool can have a one SCSI target or each disk can be exposed to an iSCSI LAN. Uh, you can connect disk under the disk pool to the Azure VM solution hosted at a data store that allow you to scale your storage independent of your Azure VM based solution host. Once a data store is configured, you can then create the volume on it and attach them to the VMware instance. So you can think about it right wherever you need to have the iSCSI controller it's not even with the VMware solution but you can exp uh, you can expand this to the other solution where iSCSI has been there and support it uh, that's where uh, you can use this Azure disk pool where you are clubbing the multiple disk into the one pool and then attaching it to the uh, attaching it to the source over the iSCSI uh, system right uh, so in this example you can see we have a VMware cloud which is running on Azure and then the data store has been uh, there which is coming from iSCSI over the LAN where we are connecting the disk pool to the data store and then we are creating the further volume to the uh, to the VMware VMs which is created on the VMware cloud solution uh, how to attach a disk pool to the VMware solution so you can see you have a multiple ways of doing it right uh, you can use the express out where you can attach or you can create the disk pools the disk pool can be connected over the express out fast path uh, to the vmware solution and from that vmware solution you can use the disk pool to be directly attached to the vmware solution inside the azure and then from there you can connect it uh, to the data store over the learn and then you can use it to the uh, use it to the store the disk of the vm in, which is created into the vmware solution so that's how you can do and then later on you can you can you can have your uh, multiple uh, vms networks to be getting connected on the same uh, fast route or the or the express route which is created into this environment uh, how uh, the disk pool work so when you when a pool is deployed or managed resource is automatically created for you that managed resource group contain all the necessary resource for operation of a disk pool uh, the naming conversation of these resources group is always started with MSP underscore resource group name uh, underscore disk pool name underscore the reason name when you add a managed disk to a disk pool the disk is attached to manage iSCSI controller multiple managed disk can be added into the in, into as a storage target to a disk pool each is storage target is, is represented as a iSCSI learn under the disk pool iSCSI target disk pool offer native solution for azure vmware solution uh, azure vmware solution cluster can connect to the disk pool which provide the e compass of all the azure uh, vmware solution hosted into the environment right so that's how uh, you know your uh, uh, your uh, disk pool ways work so whenever you create your disk pool it automatically create uh, the resource group for the managed uh, resources and that is, it's always started with the MSP underscore resource group name underscore disk pool and then underscore is reason, uh, reason name so everything is happen on the ice case so whenever you're adding a disk pool it doesn't mean that it's going to be create and club all of the disk no it's going to 
provide a learn number to a specific disk and that learn number can be used uh, to the connect uh, to the to the disks uh, from the disk pool to the vmware solution now what are the restrictions we have so as, as in preview we do have a few restrictions only premium ssd managed disk or standard disk or the ultra disk can be added to the disk pool as of now a disk pool cannot be con configured to contain both and premium and ssd if a disk pool is configured to use with the ultra disks or standard disk or the premium disk it only going to contain the ultra disk likewise a disk pool configured to be user premium standard can be only contain the premium and standard ssd disk using the zone redundant storage are currently not supported so these are the restrictions which is there with the with the azure disk pool reason availability so as of now we have a very specific regional availability of these uh, uh, disk uh, pool uh, solution but yes currently this solution is in a preview so in future the expandability is going to be happen of this solution and then when this uh, service is in a current is in a available in GA on that time uh, this is going to be available on the all the regions into the Azure right billing right so how the billing is happened so when you deploy a disk pool there is a two area that will uh, incur uh, the billing cost the price of disk pool fees itself and the price of each disk added into the pool right for example if you have added a disk pool with one uh, p30 disk you will be billed for p30 disk and the disk pool other than disk pool or your disk there is no extra charges for a disk pool or you will not be billed for resources deployed into the managed resource group right so the only the charges is going to be for the disk which you have added into the pool and the uh, the managed phase for the disk pool right so let's quickly jump into the demo so i have already logged in into the my azure uh, uh, resource group so when you go into the resource groups uh, uh, you will be going to see uh, like i have already deployed uh, by one of the one disk pool and you will see like there is already a managed group has been created as of now it does not have any resources on it but my uh, disk pool is already there right uh, you can see this disk pool is already created however this still disk pool is having a few issues uh, due provisional issues because uh, it just looks like something is gone wrong and as of now I'm not able to start and stop this disk pool but if you really want to create or if you want to create a new disk pool it's a pretty much straightforward you just need to make sure you have a disk pool uh, service provider registered on the subscription right you need to go into the uh, into the resource group I am creating a new uh, resource group for this deployment you need to specify uh, the name disk pool 01 you need to specify the location I'm going into the uh, East US I'm putting into the availability zone I need to have uh, one dedicated uh, subnet for this disk pool which I have already deployed and then I need to specify the SQ which SQ is going to be with this disk pool right as of now we have a limit like we cannot mix up our all the disk SQs in a one pool so we have to be very specified which SQ is selected here only those disks will be going to be part of this disk pool right right then we can add any of the existing disk if we have if we don't have we, we can uh, remove this for a time being and then we can enable the ice kg we can specify the name of the ice kg target name and then we can enable what is the access control list is going to be and then enable ICS protocol to all attached disk pool so if you want to enable for all the disks you can do that as well so i'm not doing it as of now oops sorry and uh, then you need to click on tags you need to click on review and create and then You just need to wait for this validation is to get completed and then you can click on create so as soon as you click on create it's going to initiate the deployment that's a very uh, simple and straightforward behavior of the Azure portal when you deploy uh, or when you submit a deployment 
once your disk pool is created uh, you will need to go back you need to go on the disk pool and here you would be able to see your new deployment has been uh, submitted and after this uh, the deployment is get completed with when this deployment is get completed we would be able to see the deployment here now one more important thing when you adding a disk so as of now uh, the disk pool has been uh, currently in the failed state but when you adding a disk it's a very straightforward you can go here and you can attach any of the existing disk but your disk should have the disk pool operator access on the disk right so how you can do that you just need to go into the disks which you want to add into the uh, add into the uh, to the to the uh, uh, to the disk pool you need to go on the im access and control you need to do the role assignment and from here you can add the role assignment to the user who is going to manage the disk pool and going to add into the disks right so the, this is the uh, role which i'm talking about disk pool operator it's specifically created for the disk pool right and the user who need to who is going to get the access of this should be have the access to the azure disk pool also right so once you go back uh, you would be able to see your disk second disk pool has been created however this is currently in the in the provisional state it has been uh, not provisioned but it's showing as a failed right and uh, since this is the standard one i think i would not be able to add my existing one because that has been created as a premium right so from here you can add and remove your uh, 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 your uh, disk into the disk pool that's it in this video i hope you like this video if you like please click on like and subscribe for more upcoming videos and feel free to reach us if you have any questions. Thank you.